Welcome to this service of word and music from St Mark's Church in Bromley. This is the seventh Sunday after Trinity. The Gospel today tells us of the feeding of the 4,000 from the Gospel of Mark chapter 8. Let us pray. Lord of all power and might, who art the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of thy name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of thy great mercy keep us in the same, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, verses 1 to 9. In those days, when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat, he called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way, and some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread here in the desert? He asked them, how many loaves do you have? They said, seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, 
and he took the seven loaves. And after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish, and after blessing them, he ordered that these two should be distributed. They ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Now there were about 4,000 people, and he sent them away. Thanks be to God. Today we hear of Jesus' feeding of the 4,000, a couple of chapters on in the Gospel of Mark from the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus is in a different place with a different group of people now. These numbers refer to the men, by the way. So there were a lot more if you add in the women and children. In both places, Jesus takes compassion on the crowd in their hunger and feeds them. In the case of the 4,000, there are seven loaves, and this number is symbolic of completeness of the whole. It is suggested that he was speaking to a crowd of Gentiles. In both places, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke the bread, and distributed it to the people. This is reminiscent of our Eucharist, the Holy Communion. But what strikes me most, and maybe you feel this keenly too, is our reaction to this scene in our current context here and now. How strange to be allowed to gather 4,000 plus people in one place, even if it is outdoors. We couldn't do this at present. And even the receiving, receiving of communion, so familiar and important to Christians, is limited at the moment with restrictions of how it is administered. And for many of you, still not able or wanting, understandably, to come to church to receive. This gospel highlights to us the restrictions of our present time in the name and purpose of physical well-being. It also reminds us of God in Christ's concern and compassion for our spiritual hunger. We're doing our best to reintroduce the accessibility of the sacrament. I pray with you all that we keep our communion with God wherever and however we are at this moment and in the name of God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.
us pray. Heavenly Father, we bring to your love your church with, it, with its rich diversity of traditions and various denominations. Forgive us the divisions we create. And as we begin to come together again to worship in our church communities, Help us to celebrate the values we share. We give thanks that in your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us the perfect example in word and deed of compassion, generosity and love. In your grace, may we respond to the reality of the world according to your holy will. And may we share the gospel of peace in prayer and practical action in a spirit of unity, understanding and respect. Lord, hear our prayer. In our troubled world, where the way ahead seems confusing and uncertain, we pray for all nations suffering the current pandemic. And we continue to pray for refugees displaced by oppression and constant warfare. As Jesus fed the multitude, we praise all who feed the hungry, from our local food banks to international aid agencies working in the Yemen and Somalia. Father, give your guidance to those with authority and power that they work always for the needs of those they serve. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we commend to your healing those who are in pain, in distress or sorrow, remembering before you those who have asked for our prayers and others we are concerned about. May your healing love bring comfort and reassurance to them and to those who care for them. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember before you, merciful God, the dying and those who love and care for them. We remember those whose earthly life has come to an end. We commend them to your eternal love and we give thanks for those who have enriched our own lives and are now at rest in your peace. We pray that you comfort and sustain those who bear the grief of bereavement. Lord, hear our prayer. Knowing that all that is good and true comes from you, in your grace, help us to live your gospel of love, hope and peace for the sake of your kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>